Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the commutating capacitors and its purpose in the bistable multivibrator. Most commonly, these type of commutating capacitors are preferred in the fixed biasing bistable multivibrator. See here, this is the fixed bias bistable multivibrator where no capacitor is involved here. Okay, physically no capacitance is there, but virtually capacitors are there where it could be. See, already we know when this transistor, let it be, it is an off state and it is an on state. See, whenever you are asked to explain the operation of any type of multivibrator, you should assume a condition such that one should be in on, one should be in off. That is of your wish. Now, how to say it is a fixed bias or self bias by seeing this potential. If any potential is connected here at the bottom part with negative supply, then it is a fixed bias supply. And if in the self bias, these two emitters are connected together and connected via uh, resistor to a ground, then it will be a self biasing network and it is ground. VBB is not there, then it will be grounded. Okay, it is a fixed bias network. For this fixed bias network, consider this transistor is in on state and Q1 is in off state. Now, what is the meaning of off transistor? Here you are having the voltage VC1, which is highest voltage. And nothing, highest voltage is nothing but what is the maximum voltage in that path VCC? That is the maximum voltage. Let it be 10 times. What is the voltage? It is like 12 volts. Okay, 10 times of the voltage is 10. Uh, the voltage always we are choosing in terms of 10, so 12, 15 volts. Let it be chosen like that. Now, the voltage appeared at this particular point VC2 as this is an on transistor. This voltage is very, very small. Almost negligible, we can say it is zero ideally, but practically some VC sat voltage is there. Already I told you in the previous videos what is the value of VC sat and VB sat previously. Now, this particular transistor as it is in off state, you are having maximum voltage VC1. Now, this voltage is supplied through this R1 to the base 2 of this transistor Q2. What is the network that you are having? VC1 and resistor R1. This resistor is followed by another resistor R2. Okay, and here you are having the input B2, base 2 of this transistor. Understand clearly what I am saying. The voltage is divided here between two resistors R1 and R2. Suppose, suppose if VBB is not there, we can say it is ground. Okay, let us assume VBB is equal to 0 volts. Let us assume minus VBB is equal to 0 volts. When it is 0, R2 other end is connected to ground and first end is connected to base of the transistor Q2. Now you are having a junction here VBE. You are having a junction here VBE. This junction is nothing but it is an NPN transistor. NPN transistor. For NPN transistor, it is a P-type material. It is N-type material. If you uh, draw separately here, P type material and this is N type material, you are having a junction like this. Okay, this P type material, N type material, they has these two are different materials. It is having more number of holes, it is having more number of electrons. When these two are connected together, there exists a recombination, nothing but of holes from this P type. And electrons from this end type, these two are recombined together and produces a neutral electron here. Nothing but it is, what is the meaning of this one? This is a dielectric medium or depletion region. Depletion region is a dielectric medium where current cannot flow until you are having a drift voltage. Okay, so this particular junction is having a dielectric medium separated by two conducting plates. So what do you mean by this one? It is a capacitance. It is a capacitance. So unknowingly or we can say virtually the capacitance is existed because of the junction and its property of the diode junction and property of the diode so what is the meaning of this one what i am saying now there exists a capacitance at the base 2 of this transistor q2 so there will be a 
capacitance from here to ground. This is the capacitor. This is the capacitor which is existed at the second transistor. Let it be C2. Hope you understand the existence of capacitance. Capacitance, we are not creating the capacitance, but virtually it is created. See, whenever you consider this particular network, this network is acting as an uncompensated attenuator. This network is acting as uncompensated attenuator. Uncompensated attenuator. Uncompensated attenuator is nothing but there is no compensation. One is resistor and the other side, one side we are having resistor, other side is R2. Parallel C2. Actually, we should have a voltage revision network, nothing but a pure attenuator should not contain any capacitor. Even if you want to add a capacitor on one side, other side should also be compensated. If you don't have this one, lot of uncompensated reactions like undamped oscillations will be coming. Nothing but the undamped oscillations means the voltage, if you are giving a constant voltage, the output at the base 2, it will be like this. It takes a lot of time to stabilize the voltage. So, transient response will be there. Okay. So, this is an uncompensated network. This uncompensated attenuator can be compensated by adding physical capacitors at the R1 here and as well as in the opposite side when Q1 is in on state. Hope you understand. Okay, so now we need to add this particular capacitor here to make a compensatory network. To make compensatory network. This is the case when Q1 is in off state and Q2 is in on state. Suppose if Q2 off, Q1 on, then these two cases will be altered. Then again, we need one more capacitor should be connected here. Okay, what is the purpose of this capacitor? To provide compensated attenuator one thing as well as see here it takes I told you it takes a lot of time to get the steady state response. It takes a lot of time to get steady state response all this is a transient response. All this is a transient response. So to get the steady state it takes a lot of time. Sorry it takes a lot of time. So in order to speed up the process. See, when you are having this transient response, the circuit is slow down. So, in order to get a speed up, we are using speed up capacitors. So this is what a speed up capacitor or transient response or uh, transpose capacitors or we can also call it as commutating capacitor. Okay. So, this is the commutating capacitor place C1, C1 dash. These two are connected on either sides of the resistors R1. So, R1 parallel this resist capacitance and again in this R1 parallel this capacitance. Okay. So, uncompensated attenuator which is appeared. I am drawing here. This is R1 and R2. This is the base 2 of the transistor. So, you are having a capacitor which is existed between base and emitter. I am just showing it as base and emitter collector cap capacitor V C B E 2 and this comes in parallel with this. Suppose if V B B is equal to 0. Okay. And this is the V C 1. Okay. So, this is uncompensated network to get compensated network connect capacitor across R1. This improves what happens now when we are connecting this one speed of network. See resistor, resistor this is the virtual capacitance. This is the physical capacitance. Now we are connecting to compensate this one. VB2, CB2 and this is the ground R1, R2. This is the base 2 of the transistor and this is the VC1. 
okay see if you are having such type of network for this response it takes slowly and after some time it will be stabilized under under damped oscillations will be coming but when you have when you are having a compensated network like this definitely will be having immediate response like this compensated network almost it uh, performs like an attenuator okay so the purpose of capacitors is to speed up the process that's why these capacitors these additional capacitors across R1 are known as commutating capacitors, commutating capacitors or speed up capacitors because the main purpose of the capacitor is to speed up the process to avoid transient response, speed up capacitors or even we can call it as transpose capacitance transpose capacitors okay these are the three names of this one commutating capacitors transpose capacitors are speed up capacitors okay thank you